What's up guys, I am back with another video and today we're going to be reacting to an old animated scary story and yeah, so let's get right into it, this one is called the scary field trip horror stories and yeah, let's get to 40 subscribers, I got, I just hit 30, so let's try to get 40, smash that like button, subscribe if you already haven't, let's get right into it. Yeah, I, I just hit 30 subscribers. Because you know the one that had 400 views? That just hit 30. Back in high school, I took a mysteries and mythology type class Ew. or something like that. I don't remember the name of the class. It basically just had to do with real life mysteries and creepy shit. I was into that kind of stuff. I was taking the class with a good friend who I'll call Ben for this story. <laughs> the teacher at the class took us on a field trip to a new... Just telling you, but I watched this one and I just want to... You know, I just want to react to it, though. This was, like, a couple months ago, though, so, yeah. ...by abandoned village with an unknown past. The village was built in the early 1900s, oh, yeah, but... but see one more thing, um, I haven't watched it in a long time, so I probably forgot about it, yeah. Oh, dang it. ...to a nearby abandoned village with an unknown past. The village was built in the early 1900s, but seems as though it had been quickly abandoned shortly after it was built. The bus ride there was about 20 minutes. All of us were glued to the bus windows as we pulled up some sketchy looking decrepit road cutting through dense forest. The road eventually led to a clearing. We were there. We stepped out onto the road, which had grass growing. This, this seems fake, but who would take a field trip there to like abandoned places i don't think that would ever happen but whatever through the cracks the grass surrounding was almost knee high then there were the buildings the tall archaic brick buildings with the boarded up windows all gave off such chilling vibes the teacher lined all 20 of us up counted heads and then began leading the way the point of this little field trip was to use the so-called skills we learned in class to see if we could put anything together about why the village may have been abandoned so long ago. Some of the buildings had holes in the walls to serve as entryways. There were even holes in the ground next to some of the buildings, seemingly dug to get into the basements of some of the buildings, which seemed creepy. There was one building, though. It stood taller than any of the others. It just intrigued me the most. While the teacher was leading the group towards the village church, Ben and I decided to sneak off on our own to look for anything interesting. When we walked off in the direction of the tallest building, we saw a hole in the ground. It was dug by the back door of the building, which had been sealed off. In the hole was a ladder, which led down to the concrete floor below. We both looked at each other and knew we had to do it. Ben Bruh. climbed down first, then me. Of course, you already know why people would do that. <clears throat> Luckily, this was just around the time Apple started putting flashlights on their phones, so we had a source of... No black person would do that. Dumb. That makes no sense. It was creepy down there. There were a couple of beer bottles, one graffiti tag on the wall, and dusty wooden planks everywhere. There was a wooden stairway which led up to complete darkness, since all windows and doors had been sealed shut from above. We had already gone as far as to enter the building, so we figured we'd go up the stairs too. I went first, and with each step, the creakiness of the hundred-year-old wood made me feel as if I was going to fall through each and every step. Ben followed suit. How did they know it was a hundred years old? This floor of the building was very tight. It seemed like there were many openings going off into different, smaller rooms. It was so dark in there, you would never even guess it was daytime. Ben and I were honestly starting to get creeped out. Duh, because it's underground. He dark. There, and agreed to go back outside. <laughs> that makes sense. But just then, there was a noise in one of the tiny rooms. Like a big rock hitting the concrete floor. A normal instinct would be to run, but 
Ben and I froze, locked eyes for a moment. Then both tiptoed over to the opening of the room. Bruh, who would do that? Nobody would do that. No, I would have ran. But actually I wouldn't because if something was in there, it would have probably chased us. Chased me. So, yeah. We shine the lights into the room. Dang, it's ran. bright. We ran back down the stairs and then up the rusty ladder back outside. What? We caught up to the group out of breath. We didn't say anything, though, to avoid getting in trouble. One of our classmates asked us what was wrong. We told him we snuck into one of the buildings. And in one of the rooms, when we shined the light into it, we saw three guys standing maybe ten feet away from the doorway. That's facing creepy. Facing Ben and I in a weird formation. As if they were waiting for us. As we continued following the group, we paid extra That's attention creepy. to the tall building we entered from the distance. And before leaving, we saw a person's face at one of the higher level windows that had not been boarded up. We never told the teacher in fear of getting in trouble. We didn't know what to think. Were those just homeless people living in there? Were they gang members in hiding? Ben freaks me out with his theory. He says they were ghosts of the people who once lived in the town. Still, the way the three guys were just hauntingly standing there so calmly, staring at us the moment we peeked our heads through that doorway, I still can't get that image out of my head. I may go back to that village one day, just to prove Ben's idea wrong. That's creepy. That's low key creepy. But yeah, if you guys like that video, turn on post notifications and hit the smash the like button, subscribe if you already have it. Peace out.